Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a quick and easy sewing project that anybody can do no matter their skill level and it's gonna be a very useful item. So I'll show you here in just a second. Don't mind the prom dresses. <laughs> That's just where they're gonna live until I get them altered for some local high school girls. So um, they're kind of casting some weird shadows too on my sewing area, but we're gonna make it work. So let's get started. So today we are going to replicate this towel so my sister made me these years ago and it is just a towel let me move my stuff out of the way a towel that has um a button on it and you can hook it onto your um stove or dishwasher or wherever you need it to hang and it's very useful to just dry your hands on and so i'm going to make two um, as a gift to send to a friend and so i'm going to use these um, microfiber towels they're super nice super soft I just got them at Harps our local grocery store and I'm going to use this pinkish coral because it kind of looks good with this color right here makes it a little more feminine and then I'm going to use these just gold buttons right here as the buttons so let's get started okay so first things first we are going to use this as our pattern so I don't know if my sister made her own pattern or if she got it off the internet or something, but I am just gonna use this as a pattern. Can you guys see what we're doing here? You know, my lighting over here is not the best. So I am just tracing this out on my doubled over fabric, and I am using just a white crayon. Now you could get all fancy and pin this and do it the proper way, but I don't do things that way. Makes my mom crazy. Sorry, mama. She definitely taught me better. Now I'm just going to use my single needle machine here to run a stitch all the way around the sides of this, leaving the bottom open. So all around the sides, but not the bottom. corners just have your needle down raise your presser foot and pivot your fabric I sewed on the outside of the lot white line that I traced because now I'm gonna take this and turn it right side out And I'm going to go and iron this so that it is nice, flat. So see how it's all puffy? I'm gonna iron it so that it is nice and flat. And I'll do that for both. I'm gonna make sure all of your corners are poked all the way out. You may need to get some kind of tool. I'm just gonna use this letter opener. It's plastic, so it's not gonna poke through it, actually. Poke all these corners out. and then press them flat. My iron is literally 20 years old. <laughs> I got this at project graduation the night that we graduated. They gave out all kinds of prizes and this is one of the things I received. Mm -hmm. 
Now we want to put a buttonhole in each one of these. So I'm going to put a very similar colored thread on this so that um, it will blend nicely with this. I have my buttonhole foot on so it's as you sew it shows you measurements. Sorry it's not wanting to focus. Um, it'll show you the correct measurement and then you have settings on your machine that will sew forward and then do your little end piece backwards and then do your little end piece. So I was getting my machine set up correctly with my right stitch length and that's what your finished buttonhole will look like. We're very similar. This might have been my last one. So now we're going to sew some buttonholes. Okay, so now we're going to take a seam ripper and go in between the buttonhole, just poke it in, and you're going to just rip the fabric from end to end without ripping the buttonhole, actually, without it ripping the threads. So there you go, now you've got a buttonhole, and hopefully our button fits through it. And. It's a little tight, but it fits perfect. Okay, I'm just trying to kind of fit it for size to see what I want to do, but that's about good. I think I do need to go ahead and hem this just so that it's ready. So I'm going to do that now. And again, you could use pins, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to make a small blindfold. All right, so I've got them all hemmed, sewn, ready to go. So now I'm going to put the towel into it and let's try and get you a better angle here. There we go. And I am going to use pins this time because I need to pleat it because this long thing has to go inside of this. So you've got to pleat it quite a bit to make it work. So here we go. So I'm tucking this up in here just to make that corner totally concealed. Yeah, that looks good. I mean, it's pretty thick. My old workhorse sewing machine hopefully will go through this. My machine is 15 years old. I got this as a wedding gift. Work with what you got. Okay, well, let's try to sew this baby up. We're just gonna stick with the pink since we're selling it on the pink. Okay, I'm 
to go ahead and put a second seam kind of along the top of this towel on the inside just to make sure it is nice and fastened. have run out of bother. And now to hand sew on the buttons. This is literally the longest process of the whole project. All right guys, I am done. I went ahead and hung them on my stove so you could see what they look like. I did do a button on the back as well so that you can hang it both ways. That way you're not getting just the same side of the towel dirty all the time. That was my sister's idea and I thought it was pretty genius. Um, but I'm so excited to send these to my friend and see what she thinks of them. I hope that you guys decide to go ahead and try and make these. They are so handy. I have two of them also, the one that I took over there and then this one was hanging on my stove and I took it off to put these on there. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you try this project out because it is a very handy thing to have in your home. And it's cheap, it's inexpensive, and it's super easy, even for a new sewer. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, especially if you tried it. Let me know how it went for you or holler if you have any questions and need some additional tips. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any future content and I really appreciate you guys taking your time today and watching my video. I hope you have a great day. Bye.